Hello everybody, it's Debbie here. It's day 8 of the 30 bags in 30 days challenge uh, as set by the absolutely amazing uh, Sophia from the My Great Challenge uh, YouTube channel. We're back in my bedroom but you'll all be pleased to know that this is part 3 and the final part of the actual declutter of my spare bedroom. Uh, I've been working on it all weekend and I must admit I'm absolutely shattered. It's really hot here in the UK, unusually hot. We don't normally have um, a heat wave like this. And as I said yesterday, I don't have air conditioning in my house. I've just got a very small, minute fan, which is doing absolutely next to nothing. So uh, just to give you a quick update, the fabric boxes, um, although I haven't actually sorted through what's in them, I've managed to relocate them into uh, the wardrobes as there's more space now in the bottom of the wardrobes. I think it looks a lot better, as you'll probably agree, that it's far more pleasing to the eye with nothing actually blocking up the wall. Um, I just pan round, I have actually torted out everything that was on the back of the door, that's either been relocated or in some cases um, put in the rubbish. The shoe rack that was behind um, the door here, that I've got all my work shoes on, I've actually relocated that to somewhere else in my house, which you'll see. Um, as the videos progress in the next few days. Um, so all that's there was just two outstanding fabric boxes and my sewing kit on the top, which has got all my, I'll just go a bit closer, got all my threads in. I've gone through all my necklaces and jewellery. If I just pan back so you can see the whole thing. This was just an old pin board that I covered with some uh, minty green fabric. I was so fed up with necklaces getting tangled up in a jewellery box that I just decided to get some cup hooks, a cork board, and I just put the hooks, so I can get a bit closer so you can actually see, so you can see a hook, the, the necklaces just hang down. I do wear quite a lot of jewellery because I, like I, I like to wear a, a coordinating piece of jewellery with whatever I'm wearing for work that day. Um, so I've gone through those. There are a couple that I've uh, put out so there's this one, which is like a peacock feather one. I don't wear it anymore, and I've got nothing for it to go with. And there's a very cheap um, plastic purple heart one. Um, I found my very first attempts at sewing, which got me into my quilting all those, I think it was only about two, two and a half months ago. This was a mug rug that I made. Um, I went to a free class at a local craft shop. But I'm never going to use that, so that can go. That can go as well. That's just a piece of rubbish. <laughs> um, I thought I'd update my um, electricity cable that I was actually plugging my sewing machine into. I don't know whether you can see, but there's actually cable showing. I did, thought that doesn't look too safe. So you'll all be pleased. I won't electrocute myself now because I've got one with a surge protector in. So I bought that today. Um, and just a bit of cardboard. So that's that's all going. It won't take long just to get rid of, so that's my one bag for today. Um, I've actually put my dust cover over my sewing machine. Like I say, where I live, um, it backs onto fields. It's quite uh, rural um, in Harvington. And the amount of dust that's blowing through the windows at the moment is unbelievable. So I thought, I might as well use the dust protector that actually came with the machine. And then I just thought I'd show you my, my favourite little gadget. This here is a magnetic pin collector. So if you've got sewing pins or anything, any quilters out there, all you do is you go like that and it picks all the pins up. Um, that's just another magnet as well. And I also keep magnetised my uh, my unpickers. My best friends, like I say, when you're a new quilter, you become very good friends with your stitch unpickers. So that's enough of it, so that's all. So my tools are just tucked down the side, like my extra scissors, rather than having them down the front here. Underneath, that's just a jewellery box with some other bits of jewellery in. And I replaced the rust-coloured towel with a, one of my guest towels, because I thought the aqua went more with the colour scheme of the room. So that's it. My bedroom, my spare bedroom, is now complete. And I can go and have a nice glass of wine and relax this evening now. Um, I should say that day nine is supposed to be a craft room, but because my craft room is even more of a disaster than this room was, 
I'm going to postpone that one and do it next um, next weekend. So tomorrow I might sort of, I'm not sure what I'm going to be videoing tomorrow, but there will be a video, but uh, it just well, don't expect to see craft stuff because I won't be doing that till probably Friday, Saturday and Sunday next weekend. Thank you to all the new subscribers who've joined my channel um, and thank you to Sophia for pointing them in my direction. It's really nice to think that some people are, are actually interested in what I'm actually recording. Um, it's been a real buzz this week. Um, doing all the videos um, so I'll say good night for this evening hope you're all having a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you tomorrow bye